a new day, a new project, so we have to fix a amplifier. The point is that this amplifier is completely ruined. That was uh, the circuit before. This is a TDA7294. It's such a mess, but I'll try to fix it anyway. And that's why I bought me some uh, equivalents. This is 7293 circuit. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's pin-to-pin -pin compatibility, that's why I have the schematic here. So this is 7293 and this is 7294. Pin 1 goes to ground together with pin 4. Yeah, that's all fine. Pin 2 goes 180. Okay, pin 2 is equivalent, same story. Here we have the input on pin B, same. Pin 4, ground 5, it's in the air. 6 goes to the output here, we have a 12. So that's the explanation about uh, the boot uh, strap capacitor. This is connected between pin 6 and 14 and eventually 6 to 12. Never have two capacitors 6 to 14 and 6 to 12. It's just a single one. So it depends on what you need. Perfect compatibility between the circuits. 13 and 7 goes to plus. 11 is in the air. Number 10, mute, standby 10. That should be the same. So here is a disaster. But I try to fix it anyway. That's the way the circuit should go into the holes. Let's have my trusty TS100 ready to work. Yeah, it's a disaster here. But we have to fix it anyway, with any means. Flux wire. I'm still using my trusty resin flux. Let's go to pin one. So far I can see number one with number four goes to the ground. We got number one here. That's the ground connection. So, number one, it's in place. Number two is ruined too, but we can have a strap from here to there. I'll use some other kind of wire. Should be okay. Yeah, nail clipper, the best. Number three to input. Okay, beautiful. Number four goes up here. And number four goes with number one to the ground. Is it the ground here? Yes, it is. Oh, well, this is not electronic, it is a uh, artisan work almost like doing juice but it's funny to see or to realize that a destroyed device like this can be resuscitated there we go okay number four is done number five fits in the air i recall okay number six perfect now from six to twelve we should have a 22 microfarads by some schematics, I don't know. And 13 goes to plus. So this is the plus up here. And and this then goes to number 13. We have the same plus, so seven, eight, yep, beautiful. Okay, let's check out this. So we go from plus from here to seven, 13. No other short here, everything is, everything is fine. So seven, now we go to number eight. Seven, now we have number eight here, and this one goes right here. Yeah, you have to be nuts to do something like this. But I am. <laughs> this is number eight over there. Okay, we are good. No, it's not good. Yes. 
number 8 and number 15 goes to minus. Uh -huh. Number 8 going to minus. Let's check it out. Just a sip of coffee. Minus here. Perfect. Everything's okay. No short. Nothing. 8. Let's go to number 9. Let's stand by. It's right here. I can pick it very easy to have a blob of soldiering. and 10 goes to the ground the extra okay this is number 10 here very clearly I use some other kind of fire this kind of thing yes we are good okay 10 now 12 should go to 6 through a capacitor. I don't know about that. And I think that's it for now. We can have a first test. Connections are good. The single concern I have is that uh, electrolytic capacitor between pin 6 and 12, I recall. Loudspeaker output one here. Yeah. Should be enough. Let's cross fingers. This is the power supply. Um, AC. Okay, that's a good view. And let's go. It's okay. Yeah, I can hear. Wow, it's really getting hot, but it is very promising. Input on number three. Perfect. I think the job is done. Yeah, so finally I have the heat sink on. I know it's looking ugly, but I don't care. It have to work and by the way look what i have done so they have a bridge rectifier this is bad one blew up another one so we got three circuits blew up i really don't know but i suppose and i really believe these are fakes absolutely fakes and uh, it's amazing just put them in boom, and it's blowing so this is the result of one day of working and uh, luckily this guy I'm fixing this amplifier for it's a friend of mine so you know it's not a matter of making money or something else but I lost like six hours and of course oh I'm sorry we got four huh, yeah I knew that so four of these you know it's it's absolutely amazing you know it, it's it's a disaster what's happening today so you are trying to buy components in the shops so you don't have the warranty of quality and uh, and so on and if you are blowing one of these how can you prove that the circuit was wrong i mean fake or whatever you can't just go back to the shop and show them look it's blowing look at this one it's effectively blew up boom okay enough with frustration and uh, let me finish this okay a final check before having everything back in uh, in place we got the the blue led running that's good do we got any signal yeah Okay, we are good here. Let me have a little bit of uh, luck. This is for keeping the things in place. Okay, am 
Now let's have some screws for the heat sink. Perfect. One more test before anything. We got power. Well, job is done. I think uh, it's okay for now. We'll see in a couple of weeks how the things are running. And that's it. Like I said, again, fake, 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 fake. Just money lost. That's it, guys. See you soon with some other projects. But don't forget to have fun. I don't have any fun now. Bye-bye.